tonight. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Were you dressed up for something? Yeah, I was. I was gonna be on this. Show. You were gonna be on this show, but you weren't. Yeah. And why is that? I got bumped. Is that, how are you? How are you feeling about that? <laughs> now, lucky for you, we have a special guest. We have the booker of this show, Jimmy. <laughs> Okay, so conflict resolution. So let me first read to you something I was given from Mr. Jesse Fernandez. I have the evidence here. It says, from Jim McVeigh, November 10th, November 10th, 5, 10 p.m. Hey, are you available on January 4th? It's called All Work and No Play. It's at Lost Weekend Video. Oh my god, I did Me and Matt Lieb co-produce. Period. So that's an incomplete sentence. I don't know, do you... That's a, it's a comedy therapy session, all crowd work and riffing on audience problems. To which, and I can see where the confusion could have happened here, maybe. To which Jesse Fernandez said, Sounds fun, I'm available, thanks for having me. Which you can read a lot of different ways. I'm such which you can asshole. read a lot of different ways. Correct. <laughs> You're such a dick, dude. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I no, like, it's not. I'd like to step in as co-producer real quick. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what we're, let's get to the bottom of this. That's all I want. Um, and, and it's not about so much getting to the bottom of it, but it's about um, it's about facing like issues when they happen, right? So like when you came down here and you saw that you weren't on there. Yeah. Did, who, you didn't, I didn't hear anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all him. It was all, and I thought it was no, you. No, no wait. wait. <laughs> But did you talk to him? Yeah, 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 I did. I thought it was me too, just now until that very mess. I wish it was you. You did throw him under the bus, because you didn't did. use his name. I said, can, can I step in? Oh, of course you can. <laughs> of course you can. Kevin Renner, everybody. <laughs> so the, uh, the first night of the show, and I've come, come to every show, Jim McVeigh asked, uh, do you want to do this show in January? And, um, <laughs> Also check down here, not on the list! <laughs> uh, just real quick, can I come in real quick? <laughs> Literally 20 hours ago, I want to say, <laughs> Big Bear driving, and he says, what are you doing Monday? <laughs> <laughs> to which I say, well, I have a show. <laughs> if I have right spot, I could probably fit it in before. Jessica Seeley, everybody! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So I'm a comedian on the show tonight, and uh, I was at the airport in Seattle earlier today, actually just a few hours ago, and Matt messages me and says, do you want to do the show tonight? <laughs> For which I said, if, if there's plenty of room, then sure, I'd love to. <laughs> Absolutely. Without the mic. You got the mic. <laughs> Here's what I think completely absolves Jim from this. Uh, and I mean this sincerely. We were talking online and we were like, huh, that's it was a it was a strange amount of comments because it was so few and we both were like, fuck, we gotta get more people. And then that's when we hit you up, that's when we hit Jeff and I up. So I think what happened is straight up. We forgot. <laughs> I'm feeling terrible at comedy. I don't like you all that much. Just to see you later. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Uh, well, listen. I, what if I just started crying? Uh, I don't, it would just be weird now. I forgot I sent you that, and I made you come all the way over here. Uh, and really, I didn't think any of you people were going to come. I thought we were going to cancel it, because uh, there's a lot of competition with Sketchfest and stuff. So um, anyway, I'd like to make it up to you. I just don't know how, but I can give you the 10 bucks I would have paid you. 
No. <laughs> Does it, isn't that worse? Doesn't that feel shitty? 27. Um, but listen, this is also, I'm highly disorganized. You should see my bedroom. It is disgusting. There is food from weeks ago. And maybe this, this is like my own intervention uh, to get more organized. I, at least just write it down. At least write it down. And by the way, I look up to you so much. I feel like, this feels so bad. At the, at the same time, it does kind of feel good to take you down a peg. <laughs> Because you, you really are like one of the best comedians in town, and to slight you like this publicly does feel a little good. As, as someone who goes to open mics, I'm just kidding. I do feel I feel rotten. Uh, yeah. To, how about this? We offer him a five minute set, like a few months from now. <laughs> ready to see the best comic in an amazing Christmas sweater tonight? Woo! Make it loud for my best friend, Jesse Fernandez. <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. Now I have to do stand-up comedy? Is, so you, to make it up to me, you're giving me a punishment. <laughs> Oh boy, thanks guys. You know what? I changed my mind. I'll take that ten dollars. Can I go or No, you have to stay here. Um Well, I don't wanna be here. Uh I didn't I didn't want uh to do this tonight. Uh, cause I was constipated, <laughs> but then like I took care of it and then I was like, I do want to do it tonight. But then when Torio brought me on stage, I was like, well now it's building up a lot. <laughs> Not the constipation, but like the expectation. <laughs> So, I'm not gonna deliver. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. If that buildup hadn't happened, when I said I'm not gonna deliver, you guys would have fucking cracked up. <laughs> That's how it would have normally went. <laughs> but now I gotta deal with this shit. <laughs> garbage. Uh, so I should, uh, this has been fun. I should get out of here soon, hopefully, but. Uh, <laughs> what? It's like, Stand, it's not even a stand-up show. Like, it's a feeling show. It's about feeling. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any feelings? Uh, yeah. I don't. Can't peg them quite. Yeah. <laughs> Let's help you out with the remaining. How much time is there? I forgot the time. Oh. oh, oh that's great. Awesome. Let's. <laughs> Uh, it's on the camera. I don't know. Let's just let's just keep going. Let's. We have, oh, it's, I see. I, I have it now. It's two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna be fine. I I really like the. You said that you look up to me. Like smoke up my skirt do, goes a long way. Yeah. Like it's a long skirt and you blew a lot of smoke. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. I think he. Uh, I think he means it. I do feel pretty bad. No, no, but like you, you look up to I, I, I do too. I, you're one of my favorite comics in the city. Oh my god, it feels so good right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Anybody else have any things to say? I think you're okay. <laughs> he's he's just trying to deviate from the pattern that these two guys set up. It's a comedic device. Yeah, he looks up to me too. <laughs> that is actually genuinely true. <laughs> oh man, I don't. <laughs> I'm leaving, but uh, <laughs> this has been great. This has been a really good time. Um, thanks for having me on the show. I can't wait for the ten dollars. <laughs> And uh, I'll still do February, so thanks for booking me on that too. Uh, see you guys next month. Wow. Boy, do I feel like a piece of shit. Uh, <laughs>